things except one. Deal or no deal? I tell you, ever since Sunday's game with the lovely Laura, where she became our first quarter millionaire, the atmosphere here has been amazing, incredibly positive. And we saw the game yesterday with Craig, where he really was very, very brave indeed. In fact, Craig had said that he would never leave the crazy chair as long as the quarter million was in play. Unfortunately, his courage was not rewarded, and he went away with £10. But that doesn't mean he was wrong, because what we've proved is not if you can win it, it's a question of when you can win it. The quarter million can be won. And I've got a feeling that if we can keep this confidence going, this optimism, this bravery going, we could create another quarter millionaire very, very quickly. It was interesting, the banker was prepared to let Craig go all the way. It was a fascinating battle. Let's have another one today. Whoosh! 22 identical sealed boxes. 11 in the West Wing, 11 in the East Wing. 22, very different sums of money. Thank goodness we've seen the quarter million. We do not want to see it until the end of this game. Let's hope another player is about to go into the Hall of Fame for all the right reasons. Who is it? Do you have the confidence? Do you have the courage? Do you have the will to go all the way? Nicola. <laughs> Please, take the walk of well. Bizarre. It's great. Great. It's my mum. Are you okay? Yes. Does anybody do CPR? <laughs> <laughs> She's going to go at any second. I won't. She'll be going first. Nicola Darby. Mm, Liverpool. I am. <laughs> a professional singer. I am. And a dance teacher. I am, I am. I thought I'm getting a bit older, so maybe my um, dreams might not come true about the singing, so... You are blooming good for 47, I tell you. Thank you. Come on. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> but I thought I'd best do something... Not best do something, but I wanted to do something that I could fall back on. And also, um, I'll be a really quick story, but when I moved into the place where I live now, there was all these gangs of kids sitting outside on the park and they really were just doing nothing, seriously doing nothing. And I went out like a sad iron, went over to them and said, guys, what are you doing? You know, they were just sitting smoking and it was bizarre. And I chatted to them they said, there's no dancing schools in our area. So within three weeks, I'd opened up a dancing school. I had the ability to do it and I've got two now, so it's great. And I well love them. I've got 93 kids. God, you're a determined lady, aren't you? I am, I am. Well, full credit. It's all... They, these are some of them. So these kids are? This is, um, this is one, one of my classes. This is at Panto last year. Um, this one's my wee sister. Um, and this one's my niece and my nephew, uh, who are fantastic. My wee sister is... Um, she's got special needs and she's just inspiration. So um, I do a lot for her. Lovely picks. Thank you very much. But you haven't brought a talisman, a good luck <gasps> charm or anything. Let me stand up and get in my pockets. This... This was... Uh, Laura had this on. And it's actually my mum's. And it's me and Laura. It's a double cross. We're really good friends, me and Laura. Ooh, that very could... Very good friends. Ooh, that so could that's... be a good sign. 
So what do you think this relationship is going to be? I'm really looking forward to speaking to him, though, by the way, really. I I'm not sure you're his type. Oh, why? Well, he does go for the older woman. I was joking about your age. Oh, yeah, I don't Although a few it. people who thought it was... I know! Go, go. <laughs> oh, I mean, she scrubs up well. <laughs> <laughs> OK. I need you to confirm that you chose box number four at random before the show. I did. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all of the boxes and is the only person who knows where all the money is. That's correct. I think you're going to have a lot of fun. I am going to have fun. We just need you to do one other thing. Yeah? Win a lot of money. I'll try my best. Nicola, good luck! <laughs> I've got no system. I'm just going to pick on hey ho. Here we go. Let's go for it. Let's go. Okay, Julie number five. Thank you, George. Bunny boy. Number 11, please, bunny. Come on, rabbit. Nikki, you're great. Oh, no. <laughs> Bunny's your mate. No hopping to heaven. Let's open 11. <laughs> Good luck, my love. Thank you so much, Dan. Yes! Yeah. That's an okay round. That's okay. good. That is good. <laughs> A block of seven. That is good. Okay. You have got an extraordinarily strong position. Thank you. What will he make of it, though? I've been dying for that to answer. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Banker. I'm very good today, thank you. I, uh, I bet you were pleased about your victory yesterday. Ten pounds, that wasn't bad after being taken for a quarter of a million. <laughs> Aha, bowed but not broken, he says. I'm not going to say how old she is. Uh, a gentleman does not That's discuss a lady's age. Um. You don't mind? Not at all. Well, you say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm 33. She's 33. What year were you born? 73. 73. Trying to catch her out on numbers, eh? Hey, I can count five boxes. Please. <laughs> 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 I'm skint. Come on. <laughs> Please do not strike me. I'm only the messenger. I don't mind. Hey ho. This sum of money he is offering you <laughs> is when he thinks your date of birth is. <laughs> 1965. Thank you. One thousand nine hundred and sixty-five pounds. What's that, mate? I don't mind. What's that, mate? Me. Forty-one. Forty-one. Oh, do you know what I mean? I don't care. I'm, I'm fine. I mean, he, he did warn us that following the uh, trouncing he got from Laura, but he was going to be worse than ever. And he's incorrigible at the moment. £1,965 is your opening offer, Make which up. I think is derisory when you consider you have got seven huge ones. It's his game, it's his decision, and I'll appreciate everything he says. 
Yeah. I don't want to seem short and sharp, but like you say, I've got big, you know, huge numbers there. And uh, let's, yeah, let's go on. Thank you very much. Let's go on, please. Okay. One thousand nine hundred and sixty-five pounds, deal or no deal? Thank you very much, but no deal. Thank you. Thanks, Peg. Oh, Georgie boy. Thank you, George. Leanne, yeah. welcome to the game. Yeah. Well, hello, Noel. We have had a run of newbies destroying hopes and dreams, producing... <laughs> no pressure, then. Factually accurate. Producing the very big numbers. We want to hold on to that block. Leanne, please break the newbie curse after the break. Oh, please! Do we still have the curse? Hello, my precious Muller Deluxe Corner. Real marked as champagne yogurt, a strawberry underlayer, and a side of little cocoa dusted balls of deliciousness. Perfection. Introducing new Muller Deluxe Corner. Mm. I call it Muller Licious. Excuse me, gotta get to Emma. She's Mr. Breakfast. Fair enough, we've all done it. Emma. No, I know. I was in a rush. Helps at hand, Em. Nutrigrain granola slices. Nutrigrain? It's new. It's got all the good stuff of a Kellogg cereal, but without the bowl and spoon. Mmm, clever. I miss breakfast too. Nutrigrain granola slices. Breakfast is served. These Fox's biscuits and PG tips are now half price. Ideal for what she said and he said, and then what they said before she said. The Cooperative, here for you for life. Time may be running out for the Jaguar. Its Amazon rainforest home is disappearing at an alarming rate. Every minute, an area the size of three football pitches is destroyed. And if current rates continue, a further area the size of England could be lost in less than 15 years. But together with Sky and WWF, you can make a difference. By helping to save one billion trees in the rainforest, you can help protect the Jaguar's home. Just three pounds a month is all it takes to adopt a Jaguar. And as a thank you, we'll send you a cuddly toy, a welcome pack, and regular updates. And every donation you make, Sky will match it. Please call free on 0800 138 8045 or visit skyjaguar.com today before it's too late. Discover pure freshness. New Always Liners neutralize instead of just masking. More than freshness, pure freshness. Are you ready? For us, mixers, jelly bits. Shells. Popping candy. Come on. Try new marvelous creations from Cadbury Dairy Milk. Enjoy the show. Comrades, it's time for a retail revolution. Be a smarter shopper at Cash Generator. Buy pre owned branded goods with confidence with our seven day money back guarantee. And you can spread the cost interest-free over 12 weeks. Power to the small to shopper. Pack it in, Chris. For your nearest store or to shop online, visit cashgenerator.co.uk. Me and the devil. What do you see? Walk inside, inside. We do this a lot. Go places and think about killing. Too often. Me and the devil. I got so Walk much. 
I'll keep your secret. And I'll keep yours. Brand new Hannibal, Tuesday at 10 on Sky Living HD. And if you missed the last episode, catch up on demand now. As you will. Welcome, watchers of illusion, to the castle of confusion. Phase with us now, for this is the time of adventure. I, Rhaegar, issue the challenge. Enter, strength. Come over here, quick! This is the exciting bit! The only way is onward. There is no turning back. Flashback to the 80s with Funhouse and Nightmare. Tonight from 10 on Challenge Late Zone. The 80s. Nicholas Gay and the banker determined, absolutely determined to crush you one way or another <laughs> because of the attitude you've come with and because he wants to make sure that this whole atmosphere of bravery that's been created thanks to Laura is once and forever removed. So, uh -huh. still going with Leanne? What do you feel, Leanne? Well, I'd like to break the curse. Let's go for it then. Yeah. Break the curse. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Now, what are you thinking? I still think it's great. <laughs> it really is. I'm so pleased you're enjoying it. You know, people are not meant to come here and have an agonising experience. <laughs> Hello? No, they're not supposed to come and have an agonising experience. It's a very dangerous board for you. Don't start saying it's dangerous for us. It looks great. <clears throat> 20,000. No. <laughs> for that box now. I'm making a look at my mum. You're right there in the top ten highest offers. Really? For the second round. Well, I feel very privileged for that anyway. Yep. I really do. What do you want to do? I said I'd never do this, but I'm going to ask for some advice. Hey, here we go. Let's have a wonder. Is that okay, please? It's your show. No, thank you very much. Okay, Smiler. Very good offer, but there's so much potential on that right hand side. Nicola. Yes. Sir. At this stage, this is the board you would have wanted. Completely. Yeah. Completely. Completely, completely, completely. Well, it don't get much better than that, does it? I don't want to be rude by just snapping a, a deal or no deal. I don't want to ever, I didn't want to ever do that. Okay. Here we go, guys. Let's go. Yes, please. £20,000. I never thought I'd hear you say that. I really didn't. I hope I hear you say it. Bigger soon. Anyway. Twenty thousand <laughs> pounds. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much. No deal. Uncle Brian, if ever I've needed you now, it's now, honey pie. And I'm sorry to put this pressure on you. No pressure at all. I'm glad you've done it now, Nick. May this box make all your dreams come true. Don't! Good. How are you feeling, Gabs? Okay. Do you want them now or later? Let's go now, Gabrielle. 
<laughs> Are there any left? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me have a look. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Gabrielle, show us your feet. <laughs> yeah. Good luck, Nicola. Dreams coming true. I tell you, it is the banker's nightmare coming back again. Oh, he so much wanted to remove the courage and confidence in this room, and you have created, at this stage, the third offer, one of the most powerful situations we've ever had, ever had. If you win a big sum of money, I'll give you some. <laughs> what would you do? I work for um, um, a lot of disabled schools in the northwest, and the kids there are just. Amazing. I mean, they are the strength guys that you'll never ever see. And I went in the other day to do gymnastics with them. And I said, come on, everybody get your mats out, get your mat, get the mats out. And they brought these disgusting, shocking, awful mats. And I said, the first thing I'd do is I'd go and fit the gym out for them. Excellent. That'd be the first thing. Very good. wants to go on a cruise, don't you, Mum? She can't. So I reach, gets the books, and she cuts out the pictures. <laughs> she goes, one day I'll have a balcony. One day I'll have a balcony. She doesn't want the room, it's just the balcony. <laughs> so, and I'll go, shut Hello. How confident are you feeling now? Um, quite often, I think, when people talk about themselves, that he's probably too busy stroking his piles of money to even think about it. But you've touched him there. He is very, very impressed with what you would do with the money. Thank you very much. And he is even more determined that you shouldn't go away with a lot of his money. No problem. OK. Which is a bit of a contradiction when you bear in mind that he is now offering you, Nicola, £35,000. So, 35000 thank you very much. Right. Sorry, Mum. Here we go. You know what you're going to do. No, I don't. That's the reason I don't. <laughs> Seriously, don't. Usually, if you're picking a dress, you just pick the first the dress you want right away. So, look at the board and, and decide right away. Don't, don't make a change. Just decide. I can't. Guys, very quickly, if you think I should carry on, stand up. Well, just say yes or no. Because I don't want to screw it up and just lose everything. I just can't do it for them. But if you're agonising this long... It's a lot of money for me now. It's a lot of money for anybody. 35000 is a very chunky sum of money. I just don't want to throw that and then get nothing. But I'll kick myself if I don't do this. Nick. What, darling? For what it's worth, I know 35000 is a lot of money. You are in a powerful position. It's just a question of whether you're going to make the most of this big opportunity for you. Go for it, Nick. Come on. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. 
Here we go. Thirty-five thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? Where are we going? OK. Nick, now is the moment to focus. Oh, no. Really concentrate and focus. This is your game. It is a massive opportunity to win a huge sum of money. <sighs> you OK? Yeah, I feel for every one of you guys, by the way, because I've been there. Every one of you. Gosh, I... <laughs> You're sweating, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> OK, 22. Box 22. Right, this is a <coughs> small one, Nicky. Yeah, come on. All the luck. We're bracing ourselves. Go on. Yeah! Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Don't let the slip I won't. Open the next box. Where are we going? OK. That's that, that's that, and that does that. Andrew, it's on you now. One P, one pound, five pounds, three thousand. Twenty thousand even. Andrew, will you please open box number eight? Nicola, you're a genuinely lovely lady. You deserve to have your dreams come true. And you'll always be my number one dance partner. Thirty-five's gone, but I'd say that's all right. We are in the most extraordinary position here. Not seen this for months and months and months. I am calling a break and you must come back. This is extraordinary. Don't miss it. I remember riding the long way home with me dad. I remember the Dalton Road dance troupe. I remember playing football till the sun went down. You never forget an active childhood. At Sainsbury's, we believe every child should have one. To help get kids active now, collect the vouchers when you shop at Sainsbury's. What do you think? Oh. It's new. I got it today. Wow, wow, wow. Look, it's got a life of its own. Moves. But look what I got today. It's new. Ooh. Teasers. What is it? It's little pieces of Maltesers oh. in smooth milk chocolate. Oh, I want one. I'm mm. so jealous. Mm. Who's that? That's Tom. He's new too. Try new teasers. Little pieces of Maltesers immersed in smooth milk chocolate. The Amazon. It's more than just a rainforest. It supplies ingredients for our everyday lives. It regulates our climate and the very air we breathe. It's amazing, inspiring, it's essential, and we can help protect it. Sky and WWF are working together to help save one billion trees in the Amazon. Join the Sky Rainforest Rescue Campaign and show the Amazon some love. why the atmosphere here is electric. We've not seen this scenario for a very long time. Just at the weekend, we created our first quarter millionaire. But Laura did not have such a powerful game board as this. You've taken the 35. Keep it 20,000 downwards. The next offer is going to be magical. Where are we going? Elton, please. Elton? We really want this to continue. Go on, Elton. Come on, Nick. 
100,000 is gone. OK, it's not the biggie. The 100,000 is gone. Shame, but there's still lots and lots of people that would give anything to have this situation. Don't think back to the last offer. Don't think back to the last box that's been opened. Be positive. There is no reason why box number four does not contain a quarter of a million. Or 75. Or 50,000. Plenty of dreams still in your game. Come on, shoulders back. I meant more sort of mental. Yeah, no, exactly. Hello. Certainly. It's for you. Hello. <laughs> I'm very well. How are you, hon? Thank you very much. It's nice to speak to you. He's so nice. Yes, good chap. He's lovely. He's what, really what did he say? He doesn't want me to go away with nothing, so just obviously think about what he's going to say. Ooh, a little mind game being sown no, there? No, hey-ho, and the no. best of luck. It's really nice. Thank okay, you. So you're comfortable with it? Very. Hello. The offer is now £35,000. Nice man. Nice man. Nice man. So, the passage of time through your game to eight box means he does not punish you for the loss of the 100000 It's really good. It's you it's still it's have an offer of 35000 Hello. This is hard. I don't want you to go away with nothing, but it's still sitting there. So, what if you wipe it out? I think I'm really lucky being offered that twice. You know what you're going to do, don't you? <laughs> okay, just a quick question then. Try it. A lot more than what I thought it would offer you. Uh, exactly. I thought it would offer you about 24,000. I didn't even think 24, that. 24, 25. He's pitched it well, but I think, forget about odds, he's playing you now. Yeah. So, odds have gone out of it. It's unlikely that you'll get that offer again if you wipe the 250 out. But, saying that, on the other side of things, it's even more unlikely that you'll ever be in that chair again. Yeah. So, it depends. It's all on you whether you think this next round take the 250 away. If you do go on, don't chase. No. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Nick. For me, I'm there. £35,000. OK. Deal or no deal? Thank you. Deal. <laughs> Let's now prove that was the right deal at the right time. Okay. Focus and tell us where you would have gone if you still wanted to win a okay. quarter of a million. OK. I would have actually gone for the two guys here first, because they... OK, which one would you like first? I would have gone for Sarah first. OK, Sarah, we need to take out the big numbers. Let's find them. Open box three, please. Okay. I hope this is a 250,000. <laughs> 20,000. It would have been fine. Absolutely fine. Yep. Next one. You're going with Dennis? Dennis, yeah. OK, oh, Dennis, Dennis, we Dennis. want to find the quarter of a million. I want this to be the 250,000 as well. Sweetheart. 75, OK, now we want to find the quarter of a million.
Stella, we're with you, and we need to now find the home of the quarter million. Thank you. However, we still have more work to do here, Nick, to prove that that was the right deal at the I right know. time. You might still have squandered £15,000, but the offer at this point would have been £10,000. No! £10,000, let's go on. <laughs> Funny would have been my first one. 50 grand, please, Ryan, that'd be nice. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> 3,000. <laughs> Not ideal, but it wouldn't have been disastrous. Are you going to strip this all the way down to a low budget game at the end? Can we find that 50,000 and have a blue finish? That would be fantastic. Daniel, please, 50 grand if you like. <laughs> Daniel, we know what we want to see. Thank you. No, that would have been bliss. Okay. Now we have to find the 50,000 in this box. Otherwise, was it sitting there on the table all along? Jasmine, please, 19. Jasmine, the power is with you now. We need to see 50,000 pounds. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you, Jasmine. No. It's OK. We. <laughs> Yet again, we have a game of massive contrast. Where would he have pitched this? As we have asked of you, also we ask it of him, he has to say the offer that would have occurred at this moment. Thank you. You are still... 35,000. No? Oh, no. Half. 17,500. Now, for my interest, just before we reveal the climax of the game, would you have dealt at 17 and a half? No. No? You would have gone all the way? For this, yeah, I'd have gone, I'd have gone all the way. For one and five, yeah, definitely gone all the way. OK. You made it very clear. You're satisfied with 35,000. That is secure. I'm really happy. I've, I would have liked, obviously, everybody wants more, but I'm very happy. Are you going to go away from here with a niggling feeling that, oh, I could have had 15,000 more, or have you actually done something very clever? Very, very clever indeed. And sold a one-pound box for £35,000? No. It's OK. All right. There was more. There was more. Get more. Come on, guys! There was more in the game. And again, we prove that if you have the courage to go to the end of the game, you can pick up those big, big sums of money. However, you were very fortunate, or very. you played it very cleverly, that you kept the big sums of money through the early stages, and that's why you got two offers of 35000 Really good. That second offer, I think, was fantastic. Finish the game, please, Phil. Would only have delivered a quid. There it is. How do you feel? I feel great, by the way. I, was, I do, I feel great. 35,000 is just fantastic. Thank you so much. Well, you've made it very clear that you're going to be sharing 35,000. I'm sure the kids in Liverpool are going to be very grateful to you, Nicola. Yeah. You've dazzled, you've sparkled, and you've brought a very different dimension to this game. Thank Please you. enjoy 35,000. I am certain that Nicola is going to enjoy 35,000 pounds. Are we happy? Yeah, of course, we're very happy for her. And I think we're feeling pretty good that we have proved that big money is coming to the table. Time and time again, big payouts are possible. We have, however, to match the opportunity with the courage and find that little bit of chemistry. I think we'll do it tomorrow. As long as you turn up, of course. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Candy bits. Candy shells. Popping candy. Kaboom! Try new marvellous creations from Cadbury Dairy Milk. Enjoy the show. What do we think happened to this woman? Oh, I took a big risk. This was big life. He killed my sister. Police. Stop screaming your out! Tell them to get support! Are you adopting yourself? Can you come up here just to get some pills? Be careful, Joe. The case is still open. Not for long. Jean Reno is Joe. This week, first on Fox. Eddie Izzard has got the hunger. 27 marathons in 27 days. I want to say thank you to Nelson Mandela for existing. Marathons? I've done 43. What could possibly go wrong? But the unforgiving African terrain wasn't part of the plan. The struggle for Eddie gets real. We're going to go to Kesha. The kidneys have been injured. Eddie Izzard's Mandela Marathons starts Thursday at 9, Sky 1 HD.